okay so let's go ahead and add animations to all of these characters if we start from the first one in the animations folder as you can see we have these three animations for all of these characters so let's start from the first one right here in the animations folder let's create an animator controller by the name of one you can name this whatever you want and then select the first AI character and drag and drop this one right there okay now let's double click on it and let's move this entry any state and exact up there then let's add the walking animation here it is let's try and drop the walking animation right here and double click on it and make sure that this walking animation is in loop time and if you drag and drop the character as you can see the character will walk like this now after this we can add the dying animations as well and then right here create a parameter which will be a bool and this bool name will be die press enter then create a transition from walking to dying and remove this as exact time zero and right here when the die becomes true we will play this dying animation that is it now we can just duplicate this animator and now let's move this inside our second AI character and then inside the animations folder and then let's rename this to 2 now right here as you can see we have the walk and the dying animation so now for the walking let's try and drop the female walk animation and then the dying animation right here make transition to dying and remove as exact time 0 and set type true and make sure that this walk animation is in loop time now if we select our second character which is that woman right there then drag and drop the animator for that one as well then let's do it for the third one so for the third one create an animator controller by the name of 3 let's open that up create a bool by the name of die then let's move it up there add the walking animation first of all and make sure this is in loop time then add the dying animation add a transition remove as exact time 0 and set die to true now let's select our third character and drag and drop the animator in there then we have the fourth and fifth so let's do the same for the other one as well let me just drag and drop or actually first of all let's duplicate this and drag and drop this inside the fourth one let's duplicate it again and drag and drop it inside the fifth one so that we don't need to do it again and again then move it inside the animations folder then rename this to 4 double click on it remove these two animation add the walking and then add the dying make a transition and simply add the condition which is die true that's it let's move to the fifth one drag and drop this inside animations and now rename this to 5 double click on it remove these animations add the walking and then the dying and simply make a transition and right here just simply add a condition die true now if you try and drop this character as you can see it is not playing the animation for now let's just leave it and let's test out the game and see which character works perfectly fine so as you can see that character is playing the animation perfectly fine the prefabs are not playing the animations this is because we need to add the animator to the prefabs as well so if we select the first one right here we need to add the 
animator controller let's go inside animations here is the controller so let me select the prefab lock it right there and now let's add the animator in there then let's unlock it let's move to the second one select the character lock the inspector go inside animation folder and drag and drop the controller right there then unlock it let's move to the third one and let's try and drop the animator in there that's it now we have the fourth one so let's try and drop the animator that is it now unlock it then we have the fifth one so lock this one as well and simply drag and drop the animator in there and that is it now if we play the game again now you can see we don't have any errors and these two characters and also the prefabs of these two characters are playing the animation perfectly fine but the other three characters are not playing the animations as you can see now this character looks perfectly fine as you can see they work really realistic as you can see so i have found out the issue if you notice that the prefab for this character is the same as you can see for the second one it is the same as well and the animations as well but if you check the third one the .fbx file was for this character and we added the wrong prefab right here as you can see so we need to change this prefab with the right one if you check the fourth one the fourth one is correct as you can see if you check the fifth one right here we replace that i don't know how but we did it so now let me move this prefab from here to the third one and then from the third one let's move it to the fifth one that is it now if you go inside animations of the fifth one and let's click on one of the animation change into the animation tab as well let's try and drop the character okay inside this animation as you can see it doesn't play it on that one but if we try and drop the second one it will play the animation on that one as you can see so we just messed that up so let me just now check it out this was our first one this was the second one then this one was the third one okay so now for this one let's add the animator of this character so this was the fifth one right here as you can see so let's click on the animation let me log that actually let me unlock it first of all let's select this character right here and drag and drop this animator right there that's it now let's check the third one for the third one we didn't add any animator so let's add the animator of this character here it is right here let's select it and add the animator then let's select the fourth one here it is and right here this is the character so let me drag and drop the animator in there that's it now let's do it for the prefabs as well for this one we have added it for the second one as well now let's do it for the third one so select the third select the prefab and lock the inspector then go inside the animations and drag and drop this animator controller in there then let's unlock it then open up the fourth folder select the character then lock it again and let's try and drop the controller it was added already okay let's do it for the last one 
select the prefab log the inspector and right here drag and drop that and that will be it now let me just play the game in the maximize window as you can see now all of the characters are playing the animations perfectly fine okay they are walking just like some realistic movie as you can see they are playing the animations really beautifully as you can see and now with this done let me explain you what was the issue the issue was with that i have added the controllers of each of the character randomly okay so make sure that if your first character is this one then you should make sure that you added the animator controller of this character okay and if if this is your character then make sure that you added the animator controller of this character from here and also in the prefabs as well so make sure that you do that and once that is done you will be able to create a beautiful traffic ai like this but now as you can see they are all walking in a single direction and we actually don't want that we want the character to move in the opposite direction as well so for doing that i will see you guys in the next video